So, good morning guys. Now, we will go for one more derivation that is related to your truss element. How to derive a stiffness matrix for a truss element? Stiffness matrix for a truss element. Now, already we know that uh, L, M and L, E how to calculate everything. I thought to that we have discussed. Now, our next derivation is derive element of stiffness matrix for truss element. It is key. Now, how to derive this? So, one of the very simple derivation and most common question in examination most common question in examination how to derive the stiffness matrix now if you observe here I written a simple truss element in local coordinate now if you observe this what you understood a simple a display each node if you observe there is a one displacement in local coordinate system that means if I take this I can write q will be is equals to q1 dash and q2 dash so q1, q dash will be equal to q1 dash and q2 dash then if you observe one more thing is displacement you know then one more thing what we can say is it looks like a simple bar element in local coordinate system simple bar element means we know what is the element of stiffness matrix for bar element what is element of stiffness matrix for bar element ke now i am not writing ke i am writing ke dash why ke dash because i am using a local coordinate system ke dash what is your element of stiffness matrix ae by le 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 because it looks like a simple bar element in local coordinate system bar element in local coordinate system now q dash is obtained k dash is obtained now how to determine your stiffness element stiffness matrix see if you want to determine stiffness matrix i told you you should you want to use your strain energy strain energy what is strain energy half into volume integral sigma transpose epsilon into dv this we are discussed in your previous derivation so just i'll take before this I want to explain, I already explained the what, I, what is your bar element stiffness matrix, just observe this. Now see what we use, use the strain energy, that is this term, we have derived your elemental stiffness matrix. See, see how here taken, strain energy R, I can write this is a UE also, Some I used UE also, UE is equal to. Now if you see this, UE is equal to, now if you go on solving this, see while determining your stiffness matrix, after solving this, we had reduced one format, that is UE is equal to, half into q transpose k into q this is for a bar element now i am directly using this expression from your bar element now what is that expression this strain energy can be reduced into ue is equals to half into half into why i am using for bar element because it is also a bar element see q transpose k into q is there in place of q transpose i use q dash transpose into ke what is ke ke dash into q dash why q dash transpose ke dash into q dash because here what we are using see this is in a bar element in local coordinate system what is the representation of q q we are not using q q dash what is ke ke dash we are using now if i represent this is equation number one we we'll take it as a equation number one now equation number one now if you see here q dash is there but i want solution should be in global coordinate system we know the relation between q and q dash what is the relation between q and q dash q dash is equal to l into Q, Q dash is equal to L into Q, we are determined. Now what is Q dash equals L into Q? That is, now replace this by here. Use that, what is UE? UE becomes half into, what is Q dash now? L Q dash, L Q transpose, L Q transpose into, what is this? KE dash, I'll keep it as it is. What is Q dash here? L into Q. Now if you simplify it, what it will happen? It will be like this, half into L trans, sorry, Q transpose for select Q transpose into L transpose into Ke dash into L into Q. Once again, if you observe this, this will be looks like this will be like a this one only. Only thing is in place of Q dash, it is came like this. Now, this what I can write? I can write off into once again Q transpose Ke trus Ke of trus into Q. See what is this? Ke, Ke for now trus element. Truss element Ke will be equal to L transpose Ke dash into L. See, always you should bring to this format only. This is your, because Q is a dependent parameter. It is depending upon the how much load you are going to apply. Now you obtain this. L dash in, L transpose into Ke into Ke dash into L. Now what is L transpose? We know what is L. L is equal to, what is L transformation index? L M 0 0 0 0 L M. L we know. What is L transpose then? What is L transpose means? Interchange row into columns. What is row into column if you interchange? L M 0 0. 0 0 L M. Now substitute everything. 
KET substitute everything. What is KET substitute? It? First write your L M 0 0 0 0 L M that is L transpose return. What is K dash? K dash already we know we return. What is A dash? K dash equals A by L E 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 stiffness matrix of power. Next, what is your L? L will be I write here itself L M 0 0 0 0 L M. What is the meaning of this? This is your L transpose. This is your KE dash and this is your L. Now add it everything. Now multiply this. Multiply this, you are going to determine what is your elemental stiffness matrix for truss element. Now how to multiply it? Just multiply it. What is your L KE is equal to that is 40. If you multiply it, you are going to get a matrix. What is common? AE by LE is common. If you multiply, you are going to get a matrix that is L square LM. Lm m square minus l square minus lm minus lm minus m square minus l square minus lm minus lm minus m square l square lm lm m square. This is called your stiffness matrix for truss element. This is how to remember. We know what is plus 1, minus 1, minus 1, so my 1, minus 1, minus 1, minus plus 1. How to remember? To remember what is 1 is equal to L square, LM, LM, M square, like your bar element. L square, LM, LM, M square. Now, minus 1 means substitute minus. Minus L square, minus LM, minus LM, minus M square. Minus L square, minus LM, minus LM, minus M square. L square, LM, LM, M square. What is L and M? You know what is L? L is equal to cos theta, M is equal to sin theta. I had explained how to determine previously. Already I had explained how to determine L, M, everything. Length of the element also you know. Now this is how you should determine your stiffness matrix for truss element. Then after stiffness matrix, next you required is how to determine stress and strain matrix. Stress and strain for truss element. Stress and strain for truss element. Stress and strain for truss element. How to determine this? Stress and strain for truss element. Now same. Repeat your already bar element. What is, what is bar element? Epsilon is equal to epsilon is equal to bq is a simple bar element local coordinates will be a bar element but not bq what is this bq dash bq dash now what is q dash b into l q b into l q what is l l is called transformation matrix what is b 1 by l e minus 1 1 this is for bar element what is l l m 0 0 0 0 l m what is this q q will be q 1 q 2 Q3, Q4. Now, what I want to make it, 1 by L into minus 1, just multiply it, you are going to get L E is equals to, so the answer become minus L, minus M, L, M into Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4. Why Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4? I want always solution should be in global coordinate system. If you take global coordinate system, what are the displacements? Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4. Local coordinate system, what are the displacements? Q dash, that is Q1 dash, Q2 dash. Now, you got epsilon. Now, how to determine stress? Stress is same formula E into BQ dash. Already we have determined what is BQ dash epsilon. E into epsilon. What is the answer? E by L E minus L minus M L M separate it same. Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4. This is for I am telling for a simple one element. This will change depending upon the number of elements. So you have to use same procedure. If for example this is 1, 2, that means I take a node 1, 2, displacements are like this. Element 2, the displacement may be different. 2 and 3 is there. What is the nodes you should see? With respect to that, you should take your displacements. Like that, you have to determine your strain and stress in the element. How to determine your stiffness matrix for truss element.